Hey everyone, let's play some games. Today we're playing the Warlock in the Arena. The shadow. That's new, isn't it? And uh, we should be getting some of the new cards this time. Yeah, we see right here. Implosion. Hmm. So, all these new cards are going to be new to me, so it might take a little longer like trying to figure out if I want to pick it or not. So deal two to four damage and summon a 1-1 one, one imp for each damage dealt. I heard someone say that they really like the card, but is it good? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's pick it. Also, I mean, I might just pick some of the new cards even if they're not necessarily the best choice, just because, well, they're new, right? And gotta try them out. Harvest Golem, though. <laughs> Easy choice. Ah, uh, let's see here. Hellfire. Well, sometimes it's nice. Cult Master. Well, it works pretty well together with the Implosion, I suppose. I'll just pick a Cold Master here. Uh, let's see... Oh, well, that is not very exciting, is it? I guess we go with the Warden. Mechanical Yeti? Yeah. Yeah. It's like a regular Yeti, except a little different. Let's go with that. Uh, let's see... Oh, well, this is no good. Yeah, we have a mech, but it's the worst mech in existence, probably. Crazed Alchemist, a Murloc Tidehunter. Hmm. Uh, not really impressed here. Let's just go with a Crazed Alchemist. Wisp, no. Tinkerton Technician. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe let's see if we can get some other mechs, too. We already have a Harvest Golem and a Mechanical Yeti. This one is really good in a mech deck. I think it's pretty much a must include if you have a mech deck. Uh, of course, we're playing Arena here, so can't really tell us what we're gonna get. So these two are not good. This one is pretty decent. So let's go with that. Fell Cannon. Ah, interesting. At the end of your turn, deal two damage to a non mech minion. Huh. Yeah, and then 3-5. I mean, it's just one less attack than a regular 4-drop would have. Let's go with that. Let's pick Sludge Bill, which is very nice. Mistress of Pain, 1-4 for 2. Heal a little bit. Yeah, I think we're gonna go with the Sludge Bill, And, uh... It's not all I knew, maybe. We don't have any secrets. That's kind of useless. Sun Fairy, it's okay, but I think Defender. I'm gonna go to Defender, especially with cards like Implosion. Pilot of Chela, yep, let's go with that. Uh, Boulder Fist, very nice. Actually, now we gotta we gotta get some two drops though. What's going on here? Hmm. You know what? We're so low on two drops. Ah, we go to thirteen in. Uh, I don't exactly have any pirates, but. This is 2 free. This is kind of like how this is. I don't have any weapons, but it is a 4 6. So I think both of these cards are actually decent. And since we don't, we only have one 2 drop, it's not like a real 2 drop. I really need to get some here, so that's why I picked it. Let's get that money also. Okay, now it's doing a bit better here. Uh, Demon Fire, bad. Corruption, bad. Walking in for the trader, why not? We have Warlocks. Well, we are a Warlock. Haunted Keeper. So now we're actually starting to get this early game going. Now I feel a bit better. Could use another free drop or two. Uh, let's see. Mm, let's go with the Silver Knight. We only have one five drop, so you're getting another one could be good. Ba really bad. Really bad. Oh, okay. <laughs> so let's go with the okay one. Oh, okay. Legendary. Nostalmo? No. Maligas, probably not. We don't exactly have. Well, I guess it would work with implosion. Would it? Would it? Would it then do like seven to nine damage and deal summon seven to nine imps? That would actually be kind of hilarious. But I mean, you can't exactly play them on the same turn, and so can't really rely on that. I think we're gonna go with Toshly. It's not exactly amazing, but I think it beats the other two in. It's just, I don't have enough spells for Maligas, really. Let's go with Tossly. Alright, so... Oh, actually... Now we get a spell, of course. 
but I think the Dark Iron Dwarf is better. Let's see, we still... Well, now we have two one drops. We have four two drops, even though one of them is kind of weak. Dark Iron Dwarf is just so good, especially with stuff like Implosion. Ah, let's just go to Dark Iron Dwarf. It's just one of the best cards in the, in the game. Uh, let's see here. We have Harvest Garland. Right. It's really, really good. Kind of low on three drops if you look at the curve here. Soulfire. Not nearly as good as it used to be. And I never really liked it to begin with. It's just an, an annoying card. It, it makes me sad. But then I look at the other two cards and I'm not really sure here. We have a lot of four drops already. And Coldmaster is not nearly as good in... Um, Warlock as in other decks because well you can already draw when you want to but you know what I think I'll just go with a fast elemental just so I don't have to deal with that whole discard thing that's probably a mistake but honestly I don't care so let's go with the earthen ring fast here it's a decent free drop uh, let's see uh, so I actually have the ship's cannon so that's some synergy with the pirate but, well, how are we up to that? We have only four. So you know what? Let's get another one. Uh, we're doing pretty decent on three drops already, actually. No, we're not. Yes, we have four of them now. So it's getting pretty decent. No, no. Well, let's get some late game. That's our first high drop there. Sunwalker. Fell Cannon. We have so many four drops already. Let's just get a Sunwalker here. And uh, let's see. I don't know about that. We don't exactly have a lot of demons. Uh, it's just, it's a little expensive. Like 5 damage for 5. I don't know. Pit Lord. It's just... 5 damage to myself. It kind of really limits the life tapping I can do. Not so sure about that. Faceless. Not super excited about Faceless in Arena either, but I'm, I, actually I don't really like any of these that much. Could just pick Demon Heart as kind of like a removal or like together with like an Imp here to have other Demons. Mm, I don't really have... Alright, oh, I had Dread Infernal, I could make it an 11-11, but that's not... I might just pick Demon Heart and use it as like a very expensive kind of weak fireball. I mean, sometimes you just need that removal. And I don't think Faceless is that good actually in Arena. I think it's a little overrated. Um, ah, let's just go with the removal here. Okay, so we have uh, one, two. Now we don't have any weapons. A Neutron. Lord of the Arena. I don't think any of them are that good. We don't have any really buff cards, so that lowest value of Annoyotron, but how are we in 2 drops? Yeah. We want 6 2 drops, generally. So let's go with the 6th one here. And then Imp Master. Yeah. Okay, and that also works together with Demon Heart, because the little imps it makes. So let's go with that. Alright, so. Well, this is a new animation also. It's kind of changed things a little. Mm, how is this deck? I honestly don't know. Like, all these new cards and... Is it a good deck? Is it a bad deck? The curve looks alright. Let's say 7 wins, right? That seems... Like, it's not... Yeah, okay, let's go with 7 wins. If I get more than 7 wins, or 7 wins, I'll be happy. Less, I'll be a little disappointed. Let's go with that. Alright, let's see what we get here. Alright. A worthy opponent. It's always a good start, as long as he don't beat you. Alright. Unfortunately, we don't really have any decks around. Let's go toss it all here. Like, it's not really much use in keeping that free drop if you don't have any mechs in your opening hand either. So we got two one drops and a coin. So we could like coin out two one drops and turn one, but we don't have any two. Oh, now we do have a two drop. 
All right, let's just go like full Sue style here. Do that. Let's see if we can get a free drop by turn three. I guess otherwise we can always light that. Would be nice to get an imp master. Let's see if we can have it survive for demon heart. Got a six six imp. Oh, it's the Letian card back. <laughs> this could be a tough match. Unfortunately. Oh, that's like the perfect counter to what I just played. Imp Master though, happy about that, but not so happy about that. I fight. That's actually really, really inconvenient. Ugh. I fight. I fight. That's bad. Okay, so I think I just end turn here. Uh that's not good. <laughs> Even worse is like if you have swipe or something. I could go really, really wrong. Mm. Okay, let's. I think maybe just kill that with these two. Play the imp master here. Yeah. Okay. Because this one is such a liability, and if you have swipe, it's gonna die next turn anyway. So. Let's do that, and then do I open that up? I don't think I do actually. All right, let's just go for the face here. Don't hope he plays something I can use this on effectively next turn, and maybe have a demon survive for turn five. At least turn six, I have a good, good option. Oh, that's no good. Okay, let's go for a lucky 4 damage implosion here. Come on. Do it. Do it. Yes! <laughs> oh wow. That's skill. That is skill. Don't, no, don't swipe me. Don't do it. No! Okay, good. Then we can get the demon heart next turn. Demon, give it to five, five, instead. I mean, those are demons, right? Yes. Okay, so we do that, and then we do that. And there we go. Doing good. Getting very lucky. I like it. Let's see if you got the swipe now. Hopefully not. Nope, he does not have a swipe. But that's a pretty good answer, too. Oh, we'll see. We kill that. Play the Sunwalker. That. And thankfully it's Arena, so he does not have a Black Knight. I'm pretty sure of it. Yep. All oh, right, Harvest Golem and Tinker Town does work together. Actually, I could have played that last turn also. I guess Sunwalker is fine too. But you know what? I've... Uh, well, now I kind of want to play the Dark Island Dwarf, so I can kill that Yeti. Yeah, okay, let's do it this way. I can play that, and then maybe that next turn. Actually, that. Okay. Let's see what he got here. I just hope that uh, my harvest gone twice. It's pretty. It, he has to have to kill both of them for me to not have a mech on the board. So it should be fine. Right, if I have to kill that, then you have six mana left. I hope I get something I can play together with the technician, though. Since oh no, what's the mech there, cat? Um. Hmm. Maybe just freeze it and go for the face, actually. Maybe that's better. Well, I could play that and that. Right, it doesn't seem like he has AoE, so maybe that's actually a good idea too. So, okay, you know what? It's not like him getting a spare part is like the end of the world. Squire, attend me. Ready, sir. And then I think I'll just go for the face here, because it doesn't seem like he has AoE, and he's getting really low. So I'm actually threatening lethal here. Let's see what he does. 
Right, even swipe would not really be that scary, so it's fine. Ah, that's not that. Well, none of the staff hearts are that amazing. All of them are just like little buffs or stuff like that. It, it can help. It's nice if you have an auctioneer, which is probably one of the reasons why they made the auctioneer cost 6 mana instead of 5. It's kind of nice to see the legendary card back. I mean, then you know what to expect. Expect a good player. Oh, not so happy to see that. Well, I gotta kill it, right? Because I can't just. Well, what else am I gonna do? So we kill it with those two. To battle. Right. Well, you know what? Actually, I think I should. Yeah, I should life tap here. I should have done that before I attacked, obviously. Okay, that doesn't make a difference, no. thankfully. Right, so we do that. Do we play the frost elemental and just go for the face? Or do I, I, I maybe just kill that off? Play the shredder and the alchemist? But that's not really. What's the alchemist gonna do? Well, I guess I can buff that to free attack, do a little more damage this turn. So many possibilities. Oh, right, I can do that, and then do this, and then do 4 damage here. Yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah, that's decent. Let's hope he doesn't have any more trees. Alright. Not so happy about that either. No more taunts, please. I don't have any silences in the deck, so I can't hope for that. Well, I can, but it would be kind of futile. Okay. What is it? What are you... Holding. Let the pain speak to me. Quite not too scary. Just need to get rid of that. I actually have 10 damage on the board. If only I had a silence. If only Frost Elemental froze. Like, a frozen character should not be able to taunt. Right. Alright, let's life tap first here and see what we get. Mechanical Yeti. Oh, play those two. Uh, why don't we just see what we... Ah, just... Ah, it's not really good, is it? No, it is not. How do I wanna... Well, let's see what we get here. Knife Juggler. That's actually pretty good. Let's uh, oh, let's play a mechanical yeti. See if we can hit it with a knife. Don't hit the acolyte with a knife. No. Oh, that that was. That was a mistake. <laughs> oh man. Okay, if I just. Don't. Do I want to try here with a knife again? I do because then I can get. Ah. Fine. Knives are not good. Well, that didn't work as well as I had hoped. Well, I guess as long as he doesn't have like AoE here, it's fine. Well, actually, many things can go wrong. He has a lot of cards. How many spare parts does he have? I think he has two, right? What? Because it's two kind of useless cards and then four possibly very good ones. Acolyte. If only I could have had a knife hit there, I could have done 4 damage to the face, get him down to 5. And also, I could have not given him a free card. That would have been useful. I think it was worth the risk. <laughs> oh, 
Well, at least he's struggling. It that kind of looks like he has a swipe because he is considering attacking the knife juggler for some reason. Or maybe it's because he wanted to heal power to finish it off because he doesn't want those knives. I'm... Oh. Okay, hit his face. Yes. Um. Okay, that, no, that was pretty decent for me. <laughs> All right. So many taunts. What, what was that about? Does that even help him? Alright. At the end of your turn, deal 2 damage to a non make minion. Well, I guess I can try and hit it with. Oh, did I? How much life did he have left? Was it 5? I, it... I think it was 5, so I guess. Wow, finishing all my dailies here. Wonderful. Let's try another game. Finish up those dailies. Good start. I was obviously a strong player since he has gotten to Legend before. And we won. So I cannot complain. And his deck actually looked decent too. Alright, let's see. Let's for and we have a lot of strange cards, but no two drops, so let's look for those. Or one drops, or both. Yes, both. I mean, I don't, it's unfortunate, I don't have any synergy with an Oiltron, and I think it's not that good if you don't have something to do with it. I mean, then I would rather have a Haunted Creeper then. This is basically a one. Two with a one two inside it. Alright, let's play that. It's good at killing totems. And he doesn't have a hero power that deals one damage, so that's nice. If he coins out a haunted creeper though, I'll be sad again. Hey, at least I can hide it behind the Noyotron then. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. So I might even just attack the face with it then. I mean, it's random if it deals 2 to 4. It doesn't just deal the most that it can, right? I think. Or does it just deal 4 damage if it can, and then if you attack the 2 damage, uh, health minion with it, it only deals 2, so it only summons 2 minions? I... Because I'm just thinking, the only reason I'm thinking that is because it dealt that 4 damage the one time I used it. So... I, I'm, well, I don't know. I guess I'll figure it out. All right, so we play the Neuer Trine, and uh, we just go for the base here, and hope he doesn't have a way to kill the Walking Infiltrator because he's gonna attack that here, I think. And then I'm thinking that I'll probably have to finish off the. Oh. Ah, uh, we don't have anything to play next turn. That's an issue. That is an issue. It's no good. Yeah, what are you gonna do here? Hmm. What should he do? I wonder. Okay, so kill them all. So it's not too bad. If only I had something to play here. Well, I guess like now I can live tab and play the Argent Squire. That's all right. So then I just do this. Gotta get rid of that. It's just too dangerous. So. At least the Argent Squire trades really well with the Owl. The next turn, I have the Imp, Lotion, or <laughs> Lotion. Im implosion. I think we have to pronounce it like implosion, even though there is that line. Mm, do we want to try our luck again? With the unbound elemental? You know what, let's just try it, and also it can help test. Ah, okay, yeah, so this is how I first thought it was work, gonna work. Which makes perfect sense. I was just hoping it was gonna do like full damage every time. Actually, that would be scary and constructed, I think. So. It's probably best. It works like this. Would have been nice to hit four there, though. 
So, I think maybe I should have played the... Well, the Fell Cannon. Yeah, you know what, I should have probably played the Fell Cannon, but... I wonder... I actually almost definitely should have played the Fell Cannon, but I wanted to test here. And I guess it would have been really good if it had hit 4, but can't really rely on that. That would have been a one, like 33% chance of it. But the other two considerations are not nearly as strong. Well, I guess 3 wouldn't have been bad either since then. Or 4 one ones. We just have a 2 1. Just hope he doesn't have Lightning Storm. Preferably, he doesn't have any overload cards. Oh, he doesn't. That is good news. Then things are fine. The felt kind would still have been better though. Ah well. All right, let's see what he does. That makes sense. Um, two damage to a non-neck minion. Hmm. I think. Hmm. Maybe just kill those two, and then and then he has two minions alive, and that's like 50-50 in each of them. He doesn't seem to have any, any overload cards, so let's do... Fight. I'm play, playing the Fell Cannon, right? So, yeah, if you do that, 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 then we play the Fell Cannon now. Hope it hits that, but if it hits that, I guess it's not the end of the world. Wait, 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 wait. It can hit your own minions? That was a mistake. <laughs> I didn't think of that. I had no idea. Oh man, that changes everything. Suddenly, I don't think it's that good anymore. <laughs> oh no. Well, we're here for learning, right? And now, now we're learning. Now I... that was not what I had planned. Alright, so he's gonna attack that twice with the weapon and once with the murloc, I see. At least it's not gonna sabotage my own plans anymore. He does take a bit of damage killing it, so there's that. Can follow up with the ogre. Can't believe that kills my own. So, do we want to play the Sunwalker or do we want to play the Boulder Fist? I think the Sunwalker is pretty decent actually. That's... So is the Boulder Fist. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not really sure. What do I want to play? Well, that doesn't help here. I mean, I kind of think he the Boulder Fist because he really doesn't want to attack that with his weapon. If that one, he could attack it twice with the weapon and then once with that and it would kill it, but then he would take 8 damage. And actually, I wouldn't mind that. Now with this one, he could kill that with the weapon, take 1 damage, but if it... I wonder... I think... Maybe I'll take, play the Sunwalker here to protect my 1-1. One -one. And... Oh, let's just see here. He could have Hex, and Hex would be good against either minion. So, and actually, then it really makes no difference. As long as he doesn't have Hex... Can't believe that's Fell Cannon. Like, if only it had done what I was thinking it was gonna do, I would have been in a good spot. But I mean, if I read the text, I mean, it's true. It doesn't say anything about enemy minion. I guess if you played in your mech deck, you would only have other mechs. So then, you know, it would only hit enemy minions if you're not mechs. But, yeah, yeah. Indeed. Ah, he does have the hex. That's unfortunate. Well... At least he doesn't have any more mana. We're almost in the same spot as before, actually. Then... I think I might just play the boulder. I could play all these three, but... Nah, let's just play the boulder here. And go with the... Like, 
assume that he doesn't have another... Oh wait, I couldn't play those three. That would be eight mana. Wait, but I could play these three. But, eh, nah, I think this, I like this. Just hope now he doesn't have a second hex. Now we got an observer. <laughs> See. No hex, please. I mean, he took a long time playing that hex last turn. Oh, is he gonna? How is he gonna finish it off here? Is he gonna attack it twice with the whip and taking twelve damage? He could. Yeah, he doesn't want to take quite that much damage. He still takes six though. Not so happy about that fire elemental because I'm oh, looking at my hand. I don't really have a good way of dealing with that. That helps. Do I want to just play two two drops and then put a defender in the middle? I think so, actually. So if we do. This. It's time for a little blow. Love my new recipe. Then that. Play that my in the middle. Alright. He's getting low. He has a weapon, but each time he attacks a minion with it, well, he gets lower, so. That's a little dangerous for him. Let's see what he does here. Can't kill either of the minions on the board with a one hit. So, he probably does not want to really do that. Just hope he doesn't have a lightning storm with spell power. Or just a lucky lightning storm. Or a sun fairy protector. No, no, no sun fairy protector, please. Oh, I don't have a good way of dealing with an 8 8 in this deck. So, I think I just need to try and rush him down. Mm. Alright. Do you have anything else? I hope not. Oh, I just hope he gets like a... I don't know. Which totem would I hope he gets? Maybe a spell power one and then just hope he doesn't have any spells. Reincarnate. Hmm. Well, at least he doesn't get a battle cry. Ships cannon. I don't have any pirates. I'm getting low on life too. Oh no. He's actually... If I life tap, I get down to 14. Well, I could heal up with the Earth Ring fast here, but... It's not pleasant. Maybe just play all these and just kind of go for the face. And... Then hope for the best. He doesn't have, like, visible lethal, but he... I could totally do it if he gets like a rock fighter under his weapon. Yeah, then he can kill that minion, go for the face. Not looking too hard. If he doesn't have like any spells or taunts though, I might have a chance because then it would be tough for him to ruin everything. And I still have my demon heart, so if I could draw that and play it on a 1 1 imp. Oh no. Ah, uh, that's. Okay. Ah well. You know what, I blame it all on that fell cam. Thanks for watching everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye bye!